Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we are going to be doing something from what I want to create a new playlist for actually, and I'm going to call it Dressin' 101. Not that I like I'm telling you how to dress, but these are just like some basic tips that I go through in my head to look my like tip top best. So I want to share them with you guys. But this week's video is focusing on how to make basic outfits look interesting um, and just some simple ways on how to do that. So. Yeah. I was at the Hermes store and I got my Balenciagas. So my first tip is not intimidating at all. Just do one thing differently. If you just feel like you look in the mirror, you look at your outfit, you're like, again, being basic is not a bad thing, but we like a little bit of interest, okay? We don't want to be like a snooze fest. So um, just do one thing differently. If you're someone who doesn't really wear sunglasses, get a pair of sunglasses that you've been eyeing up like one time um you know you could wear them regular degular or you can put them on your head um you can put them like in your shirt like just in like the color of your shirt just have them on you you know like just be different or if you're someone who wants to dabble in hats again i've been saying that i started to wear more hats because of my video i did on how to style hats with thick curly hair so that's the one thing that i just said you know what i'm gonna do it differently and i made my outfits more interesting Essentially, you can just dress from top to toe. Scan your entire body and think about how you can make it look better. So essentially, it's pretty easy once you like have your beauty routine down packed, you have your hair, your skin looking good, your nails looking right. By the time you have all those beauty things in place, like you can just wear jeans and a t-shirt and you can make it look really good. But um, really think about it. Maybe wear a hat, you know, put on a hat. Wear a pair of sunglasses. Make sure you have like your jewelry on because jewelry just... Because jewelry is just sometimes like the icing on the cake that some of us overlook, like adding a little pinky ring. Stuff like that just makes things pop off. Put on like a bag, a jacket, um, obviously you need shoes to step out. Just scan your entire body and think of what you can put on it. But obviously you don't want to do overkill because sometimes when you wear like a hat and a pair of sunglasses it can be over the top. But maybe if you dress top to toe, maybe remove like two or three things that might be a little bit too extra. Because we want it to be interesting but not OTT, right? So, yeah. My next tip is to layer your look. Now, you don't have to go extreme with layering. Obviously, it's winter, so you can. It actually would be helpful. But just think of some simple ways that you can start to have like a... Um, just layer. <laughs> just think of some different ways that you can have like dimension to your outfit. So layering is a really good way to do so. So take like the brown Costco men's flannel that I got the other day, for instance. Um, you could essentially put that on top of a t-shirt, easy peasy. Or you can take the arms and like drape it over your shoulder, kind of collegiate-like, you know? Um, both of those ways are layered looks. Um, which one is more interesting is up to you. I think over the shoulder is more interesting, but like if you're like just starting off with the interesting looks and layering, like maybe you just want to like put it over a shirt, you know? The next tip that I have is to go for pieces that have like a unique and intriguing, unusual detail to it, if that makes sense. This is pretty rare to come across, but sometimes you'll like walk into stores and you'll be like, whoa, that piece is cool. And then a lot of the times you'd second guess yourself and you'd be like, can I really wear it? Just get that interesting piece and wear it simply. So a piece that's a good example that I'm talking about is this little Zara neck sweater thing. Uh, I can't remember what they called it. I have it layered like with this really simple, easy cream tank. This cutout detail is very unique. It's very interesting. It's on trend right now. And you can just simply style it with like a basic tank or cami underneath it. And then to make it even more interesting, you can add jewelry. Yeah, that all together, like you'll have like the actual sweater, which gives like a layered look with the tank and then also necklaces. So two birds with one stone there wear printed anything a print on its own just does all the talking and most of the work for you hence like what i'm wearing today literally i'm actually wearing nothing but this printed cardigan and a bra <laughs> i have no pants on like i would probably if i were to go out in the real world, world i would like put tights on or whatever with like combat boots literally just wear something that's printed and it does all the talking and it makes like everything very very interesting um now if you want to like step up your game you could mix prints but i mean that's another video for another time so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspired you to make your basic outfits look more interesting. I actually have a ton more tips, but I didn't want to give you all the tea because again, I'm creating my dress in 101 playlist. <laughs> so stay tuned, you know, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, and make sure you watch these other videos that you may have missed. Click my head to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and these other socials so we can chit chat and have a great time. And click the bell so you know when I post new weekly videos. I love you guys so much and take care.